he's supposed to be, but uh, Stinger said on uh, his brother said on ESR that he can't make it. Oh, that's so a shame. Snapcase was put in his place. All right, so we're off on how to begin with. This match is starting right now, and how has an immense start. He's basically got the best possible spawn, and immediately, guys, in a bad spot. Guy even rockets how into his face, but somehow with nothing, guy gets wow. the frag. That's actually just should not be allowed. No, that should be against the rules. So let's see now if, if uh, Guy can... Oh wow, okay, they're switching over to Guy now. He's got to defend on low health. And the Mega's going to be up really soon right now, so that is massively the priority of Guy. He ha can think of nothing else, but looks like Hal's going to push him completely away from Mega. So Hal's going to get that. Now Guy's going to keep Hal off of the red, and he's got no rockets, so he's got to jump over there somehow. This is really hard for Ooh. Gaia. He, this is like an impossible yeah, he, situation for Gaia. He's really antsy here. He can't really figure it out what to do. He did delay enough. And Hal gets the red. Uh, he, he was hoping that he delayed enough that he could pick up the yellow, but and there it yeah. finally is. So he didn't die before picking it up, and Hal just giving him a lick of lightning gun there, just in the back as he does move around the corner. So things are really tense here for guys still living on the edge because any ro wrong move or like one bad shot will mean he dies, and Hal gets oh. the entire map. Oh, beautiful there, wow. that bounce. And Gaia just retaking control out of nowhere. Gaia just showing us that he is a great player right here. He did not get scared of Hal, he just tried to delay, like you said, and just managed to figure out how to beat Hal in that situation. Really, really nice play there. Great rail there coming into Hal, but Hal is fighting back here and he's hitting some nice ones himself. It's all about this Mega. And you can see Guy, once again, he's, he knows one rail will be the death of him. Goes for the yellow, just barely able to get it. And Hal solo as well, going for that pixel rail as Hal jumps across. Oh! Beautiful timing there on the rail. Guy are going to get that frag in the bag as he now has the red up on the spawn as well. But again, he's in this spot. He can't He can't do it. He just can't go for this. He's playing with fire right now. How this is... <laughs> what is he doing? He's still there. Oh my god. What is he doing? He's waiting for those 25s. But they are not going to be any time soon. And he's six health left. And now Hal's going to get that. But again, he did delay forever so that the yellow could be up. And Guy are playing really just... It's such a dangerous game here. Yeah, and it's gonna it's gonna catch up to him at some point here. Can only keep Hal away for so long. That but rocket! Oh my shot. God! Oh, How does he do it? He Beautiful plays here from Guy, and just converts into another kill off the spawn as well. It is just a masterclass from Guy, like of deep defense and taking opportunities. That's what he's showing us here: creating opportunities and then taking them with style. Hal is so, like, oh my god. So good at timing everything. Oh no, Hal is, Hal is. And you can see Hal is being frustrated right now. He's exploding inside. He's erupting. And it's understandable, it's been so close every exchange. <laughs> and this is also his map. He, his expectations here are to win in a convincing fashion. Oh god, oh, wow. barely steals it away though. And that spawn is going to leave Hal absolutely fuming there because... That spawn makes me so cry-faced for Hal. Yes. And Hal now oh, he's... Good. He has good done there. the damage to help the situation, but Guy is still very, very scary off the spawn, going for the circle jump. Can't make it. Now he's just frag bait for Hal, I think. Hal's just got to go in now. But he can't. He's too low. How is he so low? Because of all that chip damage that Gaia do, does all the time. And Hal now, what? Yes, Hal now seems in the position that he can maybe take this over. Getting some frags here. Switching to Hal now, see if he can make this happen. He's so low as well. Beautiful rocket there from Gaia. And Hal needs to find health. There is the 25. Needs that mega so badly. But the rockets from Gaia are being placed so, so proficiently there. And off the spawn though. Hal's may even be able to get another frag, so it's going well for Hal. He finds another one, four to nine on the scoreboard as Hal tries to recover this. But Gaia trying to hold on to that red, can't quite do it, but he did enough damage. He knows he can keep the pressure on, but Hal has the weapon advantage here. Going to try to work that from below. Nice job by Hal there with the jump, but he does get a lot of damage on him. But he's going to get... Oh! Barely gets that yellow. Oh my right god. Up. And Gaia missed and the rail. It. 
but with the Mega, guys can be feeling a lot more confident now. As it's still three frags and there, look at that combination. The quick one too with the rocket rail. And now all of a sudden off the spawn again and switching to Gaia. As he's he's not strong though, and Hal's gotta know it. Oh that rocket's so close, but not quite enough. Hal there. Just doing so much damage, but discarded like he's nothing by the rail of Gaia. It's five minutes left and this is and we're no oh. closer to seeing who's gonna win this. No. Not at all. I mean, uh, it could go either way. Look at all the shots that Hal just hits from all over the map, and it's just not enough. Gaia always manages to get the last shot first. Oh my god. So what close. a slugfest between these two insane players here. Gaia, though, has the position on the Mega, and there goes Hal for the drop, but Gaia hits a beautiful vertical shot, looking for the next one, and he finally hits it with no more slugs left. Absolutely critical shot there, hit by Gaia, and he's still looking to find something else. Hal is up there, but Guy is too weak to do anything about it. He's going to take a bit of a you know, run around the map to try to get himself stacked up a bit. And he's going to show himself to Hal straight after he takes this red, but actually Hal... Messed up the jump there. Catching Guy at a vulnerable moment, but not able to find the damage in time. And Guy, uh, look at these rails from Guy. It's incredible. Hal's got to hold on to his composure here because it's, he could quite easily, I can just see it all unraveling and there it is, he calls oh, good game. No! He's gonna call it. Oh, that's too early to call it. It is. Especially when Hal is perhaps, let's say, the best player at getting high frags per minute but, on this uh, map. That's exactly what I was talking about. It's gonna be Hal that defeats himself. He's just gets so cranky. So do you think he's done now or does he have enough in him no, to no. play a sick well, second map? Or? The map is done, which is bad for him because it's his map. But he's not done overall, no. Some players, it can be such a grating thing in the, in the, the kind of whole psychology to, yeah. to take losses like that. Did my stream oh, turns yeah, Gaia, like 15. Oh, this is going to be a heavy, heavy game. This is going to be really interesting. It's great to see another CPM 15 match. Perhaps the most tactical of of dual maps and CPMs. I, I think you yeah. could easily argue that. And here we go. Live with Hal off the spawn. He's going to grab the red. So he has the LG as well. He needs to get all the weapons. He gets the first rail as well. That can be a big deal. It's hard to. It can be hard to take that rail if if uh, your opponent is is wary of it, and if he abuses the oh my god straight into the lava that's huge. We'll have to see who gets the next red here. I think Gaia is better better because uh, he has rocket launcher with Hal, which Hal doesn't have. Can't really zone someone out without it. And. A bit greedy perhaps on some of the angles. How gonna miss up the jump there? Quickly tries to repair it with a rocket jump, but actually he puts himself into worse trouble. And he does survive, but again it it's just it feels like it's a matter of time until it catches all catches up with him. And that's a great engagement there in that choke point. Nothing guy can do to enter there. And a mi and nine minutes left in this and with the red picked up for Hal. He's looking like he's having some problems with movement. Oh, no. Catches a uh, rocket jumps up to the teleport and catches another rocket, which basically removed all of his red armor. So that was a really bad move by him. Good rating there. Nice rail. But the thing is, he's, he's low. Guy knows it. He's trapped down there. He's going to actually just jump straight through forward to the 25s. Good call from Hal. Looking to f use these choke points. Try to abuse the architecture of the map a little bit because he's got to find something and nice. he does find a direct grenade. Beautiful spam shot there. That saved his ass, but it doesn't win him the mega. That's the key error there for Hal on the position. And he's going to find a lot of damage though, but pushed into the lava. That's going to be the end of him now. This guy tries to get another one. He does it. And now he's got Hal kind of trapped, but guy is not too, too strong here. He's, but he's able to beat Hal back. Wow. So just all connect. 60% rail. Do? What do you do when all the shots gonna? It's it's, it's hard, hard man. Like... That is oh, so hard. Nice. Looks like Gaia is playing again a very very risky game there, looking for those crazy angles with so little health, and he gets you know this is the result, he gets punished for it. 
but he is just two frags up and he can slow this down by all means. Finds himself the railgun, but Hal is quick to catch him. Oh, wow, just before the mega. That was an amazing display of knowing where everywhere your opponent is. Guy is looking really strong though, despite all this. He is running the out control routine here. He is railable though. One will kill him. 80 health there. Oh, and there it is. And Gaia finds himself tied now. Hal is coming right back into this. Let's go back over to him as he goes for the teleporter straight onto Gaia. Doesn't find the frag though, but he's not going to stop trying as Gaia is very close. Trying to get out of there, but he can't. Beautiful there from Hal. In Hal fashion. Oh, look at yeah. this! these moves, man. It's sexy. It's sexy stuff. Just, it looks so great. But now, oh, Gaia gets him stuck. How did that happen? If he was just a bit slower there, he could have got Gaia stuck down, but he jumps down and, and yeah. uh, just removes himself from from having the the better option to fight. He sacrificed positioning for speed, and he he's lucky because he spawned the mega, and he's actually kind of better off. But he the game is tied, so he lost the lead, and the lead is so important, especially on this map. It's hard to take it back sometimes. And there's Gaia. Oh no, he's gonna get caught here, and this is really really wow. problematic. That was great. Great uh, silent play by Hal. You don't see that almost all, uh, almost never do you see that from him. So Hal with the lead now, and and there's Gaia, quick roll in the back, and this is of course Gaia's pick, and Hal uh, making always innovative rocket jumps. Whether they are doing anything, yeah. that is question. That is the question. And Hal is going to get caught out by Gaia there. So good plays from our Finnish resident, Gaia. Making Rat proud, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure he is. Uh, Rat is sitting somewhere just watching this. Oh, no. With a beard on an island. <laughs> oh, no. Hal gets telefragged in a position of advantage. And he's going to try to defend it with the plasma gun. Gaia, though, pressing forward with the lightning gun. Not going to happen. Switching back over to Gaia now as he tries to get himself onto this Mega Health. It's got the yellow as well. This Mega's got to be very soon. He's going to defend it. Got the spam there. And Hal, though, gets straight oh. for the teleporter. And just weaves. Well done by Hal. Bobs and weaving through all the spam there. Hal taking a bit of damage out of the teleporter. And it looks like a 6 6 once again. Up the jump pad he goes, but Hal, he can't find himself there. That was another mistake in 7 to 6 now. Hal gets a lot of more damage. Th this is ambitious play from Hal yeah. with those rockets. What did he expect to do there? I guess bump him, maybe bump him off to the lower ground. That's probably what he wanted to do. It does sound like a. Almost, yeah, it does sound like a justifiable kind of play, but the risk. I mean, Hal is a high risk player, so. Hard. I think he thought he was caught either way, so might as well try get him off there. Beautiful rails here from Gaia. He's just running away with it now. It's looking like... I mean, how how took back everything. And the worst thing how could do now is, is to just GG it like he did before. Because it's four minutes left. This is about the time he GG the last map. And, and it's about the same scoreline as well. Yeah, and he can definitely do this. There we go. Oh, He's going to call it. So in, in Hal's world, the jewels last about four minutes, which is, sounds about right, because he yeah. plays the, the game at about two and a half times everyone else.